Good morning, y'all. Jordan Schlesey here with Junko Realty Group. I just got in the Jeep and I am headed towards an appointment. Sir Linky kissed me off and all in his little, I think he was wearing Ninja Turtle underwear. It could have been Paw Patrol, but either way, he was absolutely adorable. That was the only thing he was wearing as he ran outside to kiss me. So, love that dude. That's my little four-year-old. I am headed up to Wood Forest and then over to Bender's Landing. And then we are going somewhere new today. We are going to Katy. We are going to Cross Creek Ranch. And I am excited to show it to you. I've never taken y'all over there before. It, I used to live right over there, so I know it well. And I'm excited to show it to you. So you've seen Wood Forest a ton, but we're going Wood Forest, Bender's Landing, and Cross Creek Ranch. So I met this client yesterday. So if you have watched the vlog, well, the video that's vlog style where I show all my favorite things about the woodlands, if you watch that video, then um, I talk about this client that was coming into town. And so I've been, I've been doing bike tours lately. I did two days worth of bike tours. I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be, not this one, but the other one is three hours long. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so I've been, anyway, so yesterday I met them. They just flew in from Oregon and um, there's some neighbors with kids. So I flew in from, or he flew in from Oregon and um, I showed them, I was supposed to show them six houses, two in the woodlands and four in wood forest. And the ones in the woodlands that were in their price point, which is under 800,000, they were not updated to their tastes. So we, I, they really, really love wood forest. So we've seen a couple houses in wood forest. The whole point of this is that there are still two more houses that they wanted to see because two of them didn't approve. So we ended up only seeing four instead of six. And then today we were supposed to do Sugar Land and Bender's Landing, but they love wood forest so much. And they originally fell in love with Bender's Landing and they can't get their mind off of this one house in Cross Creek Ranch. So that is what we're doing today. So no Sugar Land, but we will do Cross Creek Ranch in Katy. So yeah, so I'm just hitting the road. I have no idea what I'm going to put on, but I think I'm going to try to find a podcast with, um, who is it? Robin Char Sharma, uh, the author of the 5 a.m. Club. So I'm going to try to find a podcast with him in it and listen to that. I've listened to one already with Marie Folio. So I'm going to try to find another one. I really like him and I have a I read the 5 a.m. club and I'm reading another book he authored and I might just download a book that he wrote but um, I really really want to read this book that he wrote right now and I can't read it because I'm driving so I'm gonna try to find something to download but I did uh, post or launch or whatever you want to call it a new episode of my podcast so I created a podcast three years ago the anniversary I think is September 18th I recorded the very first episode way before that, but I never got it up and off the ground running type of thing. It just, I've always been too busy. Anywho, so I put a new episode of hashtag 5 a.m. desk, and um, it's a pretty good one. So I did 30 minutes. I like wrote down an intro, but not on purpose. I just started writing. I had a thought and I started writing, and it ended up um, what I read for three minutes or I don't know if it's three minutes but <laughs> I read on the podcast and it's a little choppy but uh I still think it's good like the story is good I just the reading is a little choppy so and I didn't edit it or anything like that so anyways uh check out the new podcast episode I'm gonna leave it in the comments below I have so much editing to do you would not believe how much editing I have to do. It's so hard to balance like a career with having a YouTube channel, with having a podcast and everything else. And so that's why in 2019, I pretty much did not do the podcast at all. In 2020, I practically didn't do it. I did it a decent amount in 2017 and 2018. So there are, I'm pretty sure like technically hundreds of episodes. They're just, a lot of them are lame, <laughs> but whatever. But 5 a.m. desk, was probably 
probably there was a good chunk of time where it was not good at all. I feel like um, I had been doing like on the road where I would record a podcast while I drive and those ones are pretty good. The documenting where I podcast and document um, a conversation, I originally had envisioned 100% like a vlog, but just the audio from a vlog, vlog when I created the word documenting. So, um, anyways, whatever. Uh, I'm in a really good mood today. So yesterday I was not in a good mood. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but today I'm in a really, really good mood. So that's really cool. But working on my work-life balance, waking up at 5 a.m. is definitely key. So I've been waking up at 4.50 and getting out of bed and getting ready for my day and then doing my victory hour, as Robin calls it. Anyways, things are amazing right now. I don't, I mean, I do know why I was in a funk yesterday, but I'm so glad I was able to get out of it. And this morning I woke up and I wasn't in a funk, so super awesome. And I'm pretty sure I did not get the correct amount of sleep last night. The basketball game was on and I went to bed with 10 minutes left and uh, I told Edward, I was like, let me know if they win and they won. So that's super cool. So the Ast not Astros, <laughs> the Houston Rockets won um, the playoff game they played last night against, all I can remember is LeBron James, against, why can I not remember the name of the team? Well, I guess the other team. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to show you of Wood Forest because I've documented Wood Forest so many times and I do understand like not everyone that watches the vlog watches all the other videos because the vlog is a little different but um so we're showing we should be seeing four houses today so I try not it's super faux pas like not allowed to record the inside of a home so I don't do that very often because I don't want to get in trouble. You technically have to have permission to record the inside of a home. And so that's why I don't do it. I don't want to have to take down a video. That would suck. You can't edit a video once you put it up. So that would suck really bad. So that's why sometimes I do like the screenshot, which is still a little faux pas, but um, it's on the internet for anyone to see. <laughs> Anywho, so, but I'll try. I probably can pull off showing y'all the open house because she'll be there and I can say, hey, can I take a little video? And she'll probably say yes. And then, um, but I'll show you like the backyards and maybe the front yards. This client I've been recording for the wife. They found me on YouTube. So I've been recording a whole bunch for the wife, but I've been doing it on Facebook Messenger. So all the picture, all the videos are horizontal and they're probably not the best quality ever. So uh, my point is they probably won't mind if I have my phone out a little bit as long as I'm still able to answer questions. But yeah, this family is amazing. They have, I think, four children. They brought, the husband came and he brought three kids with him and then the wife is still in Oregon. And um, they pretty much need to buy a house right now. So we're hoping to put an offer in this weekend. The wife said that she like either joined my Facebook group like eight months ago or something. And she was 100% set on Bender's Landing. And then she watched my channel and she saw a whole bunch of videos of different areas. So that opened her mind. So I think that's really cool that I um, showed someone other options and other places to live. And now she has more than one option. And that's probably really cool. Oh, I have a new listing coming. River Birch. It's uh, right under 200000 So nothing big or fancy, but a very solid first-time home buyer or investment property. Um, I'm supposed to go film a couple investment homes today for a client. But I need to ask Edward to do that. I haven't slowed down. <laughs> My husband. I haven't slowed down at all. But here in a second, I'm going to slow down and think about all the stuff that I might or might not be forgetting. So, I'm going to focus on driving and listening to something because I am reading this book and I'm super addicted. It, he wrote it 10 years before the 5 a.m. club, but so much of the same stuff is in it. And the 5 a.m. club is really good and it's story and it's like romance and it's beautiful and it's just like friendship and I it's really good but what I love about this book is less story I mean there's itty bitty little nuggets but there a lot of it's stuff I already know but it's so good to hear stuff again and he's just a really good writer that's relatable to everyone anyways 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna focus. <laughs> Bye. We are in Wood Forest. I have yet to turn on any music or anything because I feel like I'm putting out fires. I miss the pretty entrance. I'm so sad. But here we are on Fish Creek Thoroughfare. <laughs> I feel like this is the longest name in the world. I feel like I'm always going to get it wrong. But there is a new section. Well, the golf course is on the right, the country club. There's a new section on the left. There's actually two really cool sections. You have uh, Pine Island, and then you also have... Um, that's interesting. You also have... Besides Pine Island, goodness gracious, I cannot remember that. In a quarter mile, turn right toward Elk Trees Parkway. Right Pine Island. <laughs> um, the neighborhood is called, well, the section is called Noble Green. So it, it features. In a quarter mile, turn right. On the golf course. So, and they start in the 500, so that's super cool. I'm guessing most of them that are constructed right now are in the high 500s, but super, um, super cool area. So if you've never been to Wood Turn Park, right. and you're thinking about moving to the area, you have to check it out. So many people fall in love with this neighborhood the second they see it. Is there a splash pad over there? In a quarter <laughs> so mile, at the roundabout, take the first the exit. Pad. Turn yes, left onto North Silver Manor Circle, then your destination will be on the right. Oh, your destination is on the right. So the houses over here are in the 700s and up. So Wood Forest really does have every single price point. That house was ne is now number two on the list, and number one and it are practically like neck and neck. and then 
normally will exit and end up turning left on Grand Parkway 99. So we'll take Grand Parkway 99 and we'll exit somewhere around Rayford. So in a lot of my videos, I call that the New Spring area. Bender's Landing has been there for a while, but Grand Parkway 99 really opened up accessibility to this part of Spring. Harmony is over there. Imperial Oaks, which was really established, but then they added on two new neighborhoods over there. Imperial Oaks at the Meadows at Imperial Oaks and the Falls at Imperial Oaks. So um, now there is a Walmart and an HB and a handful of restaurants. So there is um, a lot of stuff over there, including Bender's Landing and Bender's Landing states and tons of new development and growth Woodson's Reserve is out there so lots and lots of options and Grand Parkway 99 pretty much wraps all the way around Houston it is the most outer loop uh, I take it from Sugarland to Katy to Cypress to Spring to Umble and Kingwood and it goes you know all the way around in both directions so uh, it is where I like to work <laughs> and like to travel so uh, it's a really important road for me and I feel like it's really created more opportunities for people and there is a ton of growth along it it runs into 59 and at 59 there's tons of shopping and that's where like the Kingwood Umble area is Tons of connectivity along Grand Parkway 99 and tons of shopping and restaurants. Good morning y'all. We are still in the Jeep and it's still very loud. Um, my apologies. So it's actually been fast forward a couple days. I ended up not going to Cross Creek Ranch with that family. They decided on another house. The deal was too good to be true.
in Cross Creek Ranch today. I happen to be showing a house in here, so I wanted to show you around. So it's mostly going to be footage, um, but I'm at the park and I wanted to show you this cute little neighborhood park real quick. There's a whole bunch of these scattered throughout the neighborhood. This one is probably for four to seven year olds, so I'm going to show it to you and then we're going to go find some bigger parks and I'm going to show you what the community center looks like in the pool and we're just going to kind of check out this neighborhood. It's a nice hot day. It's in the 90s. It's It feels great outside right now, but um, I just happened to be here a little bit early, so I thought I'd just show you around. So the house I'm showing is just over the bridge. So this right here I think is Hidden Glade and the one I'm showing house in, I think it's a cove, I <laughs> can't remember, but all of these little enclaves have their own name, but we are in Cross Creek Ranch, which is in Fulcher, which is pretty much Katy. So we're off of 1093 and there are a lot of fantastic homes out here and there's still new construction being built out here. So I'll show you some of the models as well. But cute little neighborhood park with the walking path and then the path goes even back towards some other homes over there. So a whole bunch of different parks over here. Tons of sidewalks and walking trails and the little ponds and lakes and you can see the fountain down there to the right. So I'm gonna jump back in the Jeep and show y'all some more features and amenities in here. So here we have a really nice shopping center. We're on South Fry. And so we're gonna bump right up to Cinco Ranch. So there's a CVS and all these, a handful of restaurants. I think this is actually a Cinco Ranch. I couldn't remember if we were at Cinco Ranch or Seven Meadows, but um, tons of shopping down to the right and to the left through Second Baptist Church. I'm going to U-turn and show y'all the entrance because I think the entr entrance is really beautiful and um, I normally like the entrance at the beginning of the video, but I came in the back way off of 1093 and what's awesome about 1093 is that takes you into Houston uh, so it's really good for making a commute. You have a toll road and I know there's positive and negatives to toll roads, but most people that use them love them. People that don't use them obviously don't like them <laughs> for the most part. Um, but I'm going to U-turn and show y'all the entrance and then we're going to find our amenities. Okie doke, so we made our U-turn. I am also going to be doing a little video I think today about Cinco Ranch. So I'm going to go over to La Santera. So know that everything in Cinco Ranch is really accessible to Cro Cross Creek Ranch. So even though it's in full share, you will feel like you're in Katy. The amenities out here in Katy are phenomenal. There's really good walkability. What I love about being in Cross Creek Ranch is that you can bike all the way into Cinco Ranch and enjoy everything in Cinco Ranch because there are sidewalks connecting the two. Uh, walkability is huge for me. I think I cannot live somewhere with a sane mind without being able to walk to something, whether it's as simple as walking my kids to school or um, to the grocery store or a coffee shop or just something. I think that's why I love the Woodland so much, Cinco Ranch and Katy, uh, Bridgeland, and Wood Forest. I think those are my top four neighborhoods that I'm really loving right now. And I would include Cross Creek Ranch in that Cinco Ranch category just because they're all connected. I feel like being able to access a community hub like they have in La Santera is a really, really cool feature and not every neighborhood has that. So um, I know there's some out in Sugar Land and some out in Kingwood that are like that, but um, these are my favorites. Uh, they seem to be the most popular with buyers. So really, really in love. What I love about this neighborhood is how beautiful it is. I love all of the wildlife and the aspect of all the nature and the trees and the flowers and it's just very kept but natural and organic looking at the exact same time and that's really important for how much time we spend in our suburbs because we have this 
work, work, work mentality these days. But being surrounded by beautiful scenery really helps keep a, a good balance, I feel like. So I ended up recording at the very beginning the drive to the house that I was showing and then realized I had almost 20 minutes so I thought I would record a video for y'all. So there's different names to all these enclaves. So that one's called Creek Bend. And each different enclave is going to have maybe a different builder focusing in that area or a different price point. But it is all Cross Creek. So you're still getting the fantastic schools out here of the great ratings. Ibis Lake on the left, and there are some gated enclaves, so keep that in mind if a gated neighborhood is important to you. There are sections of the Cross Creek Ranch that are gated. So the heights on the right. And there are like I don't know, eight different builders in here. It's really neat. You can really find a home within your price point. So check out this Wilshire area. The lakes are just so beautiful here. It's not the best view, sorry. <laughs> There's more over here. So still tons of development. I'm gonna show y'all this park next. And next to the park, I believe that's the high school over there. So we're gonna get out, I think there's, it's either under, there's some construction going on over here. Um, so let's check out exactly what's happening. I'm gonna stop the camera and then show it to y'all when I get across the street. Okie doke, so we found one of the most popular parks here, Pine Park, and it's situated with uh, neighborhoods all around, and it even has the junior high over here, so that's Adams Junior High, and then the high school is actually just right over there. I think it's Jordan High School. The tennis courts are right here. There's a whole bunch of people at the park, <laughs> so we're gonna walk around the edge of the park. You know how mama bears can be. But there's some fantastic homes over here. This neighborhood right here starts in the, or this section right here, starts in the 400s. And I can tell there's probably some 600s over there. So this park, super unique. I think you'll find most of this neighborhood is super unique. So. So it's just different than your traditional swing set playground. So this is like the rock climbing sphere. A little seesaw action, a little slide, and a little putt putt area over there. Decent sized parking lot. rest of the park, a whole bunch of people. So hopefully you got a little glance of that. So these, this park is one of the bigger ones, but there's pocket parks scattered all throughout Cross Creek Ranch. So again, we're in Fulshire, Texas, KDISD. Sidewalks are super wide for your doggy cleanup. <laughs> so we are going to keep on exploring. And I'll see you in a second. So you guys went for a walk and okay yeah nice. so we usually do our walk around here i mean like literally we're the, oh, the street that's right over there nice. oh no 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 it's a swimming pool outdoor kitchen Bas basketball and volleyball Really nice pool, Pebble Tech surfacing, water fountain, looks about seven, eight feet, we have fire pit, right on the walking path.
during that house and the backyard was one of my favorite backyards I've ever been in. It was pretty awesome. I am going to show it to y'all. So um, get ready for that. Okie doke. So we are in a section where the builders are and I can show you the model home that's in this section. I think this is mostly partners in building. Lots of stucco and stone homes in here, not just brick. So a different feel. I think a lot of people that aren't from here really like this style. It's very different from the traditional brick that you're seeing everyone else building these days. So it's super cool. A lot of my clients that are relocating actually want this style and it's really hard to find so it's really nice to see a builder doing it in a whole entire section and then the brick that you are seeing is a lighter brick and then you have that yellow house down there that kind of sticks out like a sword thumb <laughs> in the partners in building model home and the model home is actually for sale right now about 1.1 million dollars so here's the entrance Beautiful staircase, gorgeous floors. I like this home with the features as a total showstopper. This waterfall being a feature. So everything you see in here comes with the home minus the furnishings. It's an oversized KitchenAid. I probably should have gotten these for my house. Oh, I love this black stone. Yes. Microwave. Double oven. So all KitchenAid appliances. We have KitchenAid as well. Super nice. So six burner. It's a griddle. So this home has a pool and it's on an oversized lot. So they have this room set up has a game room and then you have a media room over here so 
a beautiful sliding door. So the windows and the doors are all black. Beautiful pool. That's one thing you don't normally find in the construction is a pool. So it makes this home super unique. So they need about a 45 day lease back. If it's something you're looking to purchase right now. So this is a bathroom with a shower for the swimming pool and this bedroom over here. I love the mirror and how the light is on the mirror. Super unique. And they got shaker cabinets in here. You have different finishings and the rest of the house. Smart thermostat. This is a really good size guest bedroom. I like how wide the room is. And the closet is a very nice closet for a secondary room. It's a really good quality. Even the samples tray. So, you can keep your pool towels in there. It's a really awesome entertainment space. So you have the built-in grill, you have that concrete table out there, you have more yard to the left. I don't want to make the alarm go off again, but yard to the left, fire pit. I can see a really awesome party out here. I mean, you could put a basketball goal over there. Really, really neat house. This is your laundry room. I like the black hardware in here. We have a little workstation in here. And the garage. So that's the one car garage. And then the two car will be to my right. So pretty big pantry. And then a coat closet. <clears throat> and then the two car garage so when you pull up you don't see this garage you see those three plantation shutter windows and then but you are seeing the drive in that garage so this is the driveway Really beautiful home. I think people forget, like, you're getting a swimming pool. <laughs> I love how tall these ceilings are. Really unique home. And then you have the master suite. You can close off the bathroom. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. <laughs> Pretty bathroom. The sinks are so pretty. The bathtub, that is a huge bathtub. And then double entrance, pebble bottom seat. Really awesome shower. And then we have the linen closet on this side. More storage here. And then check out this closet. This closet is awesome. It's huge. You can even put an island in here if you wanted. So these are the partners in building neighborhoods. So we're out here in Cross Creek Ranch. There's also Cane Island, Cinco Ranch, Fulcher Run. These lots are huge. Lake Sabella Terra, Aliana, or Aliana? <laughs> Alana. Alana? <laughs> Keep saying it wrong. Um, Crown Garden. So they really focus on this half of town. I think there are some up north, but the map is for this side of town. So totally a showstopper bathroom with that tile wood floor. Repeating the pebble down there. 
And then what a fantastic master. I love the light fixtures. Normally when they sell a model, the light fixtures are already out of date, but this one, they're not. I love the line of trees. The pool is a great size. I love that there's windows above the bed, but not behind the bed. Okay, let's go check out the secondary rooms upstairs. And then you do have an office, which are not going in at the top. No bathroom and closet. And then this is set up like a bed, like a, what do you call it? Not quite like a bedroom. It's like a hangout zone. I was trying to find this light, but I can't find it. Linen closet. Two bedrooms plus this one. And this one has its own bathroom. Closet. So the whole, whole home has the plantation shutters. I'm sure you can keep the drapes if you really wanted them. So three bedrooms, this landing space, and then there's attic space over there. Study in the corner, and then you had two bedrooms down there. So five bedrooms. Really fantastic house. So again, 1.1 with the pool. So it really has everything. Call me if you are interested in this house. So we found our way to Arbor Park. So they have the half basketball court over here. Tons of playground and open green space. The tennis courts, you have picnic tables. There is disc golf in the community. So tons of tennis courts over here, it's really cool of sand volleyball so all those cars are all those women over there playing tennis but the sand volleyball court's really neat so we still have not made our way to the welcome center yet but i saw this park and i wanted to show it to y'all real quick so you can see how many tennis courts there were i love about cross creek ranch or all these ponds and all of the vegetation on the ponds and then all the beautiful trees
I guess my turn. <laughs> so you have a little picnic area here on the right. You have the bicycle racks, more picnic area. You have the seesaw and the swings and a really neat climbing apparatus. And then you have uh, some more swings. And then you have their splash pad right here. And then you have the pool on the other side. So I'm gonna find some pictures online of the pool. I'm gonna show you all the pool, but the green space, and then there's like a pond on the outside. Super cute. So homes start in here in the upper 200s. I think they're building a preschool right there. So that's super cool. And there's so much life out here 
it's just so different than it was when I used to live out here 10 years ago. The entrance is one of my favorite entrances. It's so pretty. I've taken pictures of it before, but I doubt I have any on this phone. But so much growth and development happening out here. It's really nice to have this intersection. Like I don't remember all of these lights. And then there's more growth growth happening on the other side so this place is really changing it's really exciting to see it changing Grand Park Tollway eventually will come all the way down it comes a lot farther than it used to which is super neat but you are you have easy access to everything Katie has to offer but you have more land more home and it's all brand new I was talking to uh, the builder a little bit ago and she was telling me how <clears throat> how everyone's coming out here from Cinco Ranch. Like they don't want to lose the lifestyle they have, but they want a new home. They want something new. They don't want to do renovations. And so it's freeing up these smaller or older homes, not as older, but lesser expensive homes for families that are first time home buyers. And so, so many people are moving up into this neighborhood. Uh, I asked her, I said, is it a lot of relocation? And she said, no, it's everyone from Cinco Ranch. So super neat to see people finding this community and calling it home. And yeah, tons of growth happening out here. No flood issues. It's a really, really beautiful area. So if you are interested in Cross Creek Ranch or any of the other fabulous communities I serve, I love all of these suburbs up here. I would love to help you. It all used to be like farmland and now it's becoming home. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I love y'all. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.